Hello again, welcome back. One from my Northern Monk subscription box. This is a big heavy hitter. It is called it's Patron Project 24.07 Tom J. Newell Above the Clouds. It's a barrel aged imperial stout. ABV 14%. It's a 440 mil can. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Let's peel, peel and reveal. I love all the information you get. Uh, just we've come to the last beer in Tom J. Newell's Patrons Project series, the seventh beer that has explored the best that Imperial Stouts can be. I wish I had tried some of the others. Tom J. Newell is an artist, illustrator, record collector, and turntable thinker. <laughs> so, what I'll do is I'll photocopy that and put it in at the end so you can get a, a read it. Pause the video and read it if you if you if you did so desire. You six point two UK units, <laughs> like the, the the limit for the week, something like fourteen. Anyway, fourteen percent. This will be my only beer today, I would think. Let's crack it open. Got a stout glass. See what pours. Well, you could smell that as it was pouring. Head is tan, fast disappearing, a sudsy foam. It's not going to last that. Totally opaque, as you would expect. It's going to be a rich, deep brown, reddish brown, isn't it? Very deep. Very deep brown, almost black, but it's got that mahogany, monogamy, chestnut vibe going on. Absolutely beautiful. Got a wee swirl on it. That smells quite boozy. It smells smells like a a, a barley wine. Really rich and deep. Fruity figs, plums, prunes, really dark rich red fruits. I'm getting the coffee as well, a bit of espresso over there. I don't know if I'm picking up chocolate. You can tell it's barrel aged. You're getting that woody, woody vibe. Let's dive in. Cheers my dears. liquid velvet the mouthfeel it's full bodied it's so smooth it's very rich boozy there's so much going on you're getting classic stout roastiness and coffee and fruitiness there's a wee bit spiciness there as well I wonder if there's tasting notes uh, let's have a wee look 
ओके Above the clouds is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with the aroma and flavour hints of whiskey. You're getting a bit of bourbon there. Caramel. Yeah, this it's like uh, molasses treacle. Bit demerara sugar, dark fruit, yeah, and a thick, rich and sticky impy stout. This beer is aged, was aged for nine months in a bourbon whiskey barrels to give you a smoky, distinctive background flavour. The cask is present. Sitting at the top of Tom J. Newell's Totem Pole series, this is a fitting end in an exceptional series of beers. This is absolutely divine. I've not done that very well. Let's see uh, what uh, the magazine says. The scribe. I don't know if you have to subscribe to get this. There it is. Put that in. I think it's for just what I've read there. The final beer in Tom J. Neal's Patron Project series. Yes. Uh, whiskey, caramel, dark fruits. Yes. You get in the barrel, you get in the molasses, the treacle. You're not getting the sweetness of like demerara sugar, but there's that slight flavour. Well, demerara sugar's just got the flavour of the molasses, the treacle in it, without all the sweetness. So it's that. But it's not overly sweet and it's not overly bitter. It's a beautiful, smooth drink. I'm going to see if I can buy this again if they're not sold out. I've no idea how much this would cost. Ten quid, maybe. I've no idea. I'll put the price in if I can find it. I would imagine it's expensive. It's absolutely gorgeous. Try it if you can find it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.